गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव डिस्कस्ड नाउन्स नाउन फ्रेजेस एंड नाउन क्लोजेस एज एक्टिव एज एक्टिव फ्रेजेस एंड एज एक्टिव क्लोजेस एडवर्ब्स एडवर्ब फ्रेजेस एंड एडवर्ब क्लोजेस नाउ लेट अस लर्न समथिंग मोर अबाउट दीज फ्रेजेस एंड क्लोजेस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस नाउन नाउन फ्रेज and noun clause and their uses if they only single word if only one word acts as a noun it is known as noun for example ramesh as you know this is the name of a person and it acts as a noun so it is a noun now if more than one words act as a noun in a sentence that is known as noun phrase only one word or a compound noun is known as a noun a group of words or more than one words is known as noun phrase that acts as a noun in a sentence for example your brother your brother and it has no finite verb no finite verb it can't stand its own its own it can't stand on its own it has not a complete meaning but in case of a noun clause when a subject verb combination acts as a noun in a sentence it is known as a noun clause let us learn to extend from a noun a noun phrase and then to a noun clause in a sentence for example c expected a medal in this sentence this is subject this is verb and this is a noun a medal वैसे भी आपको पता है articles are used before nouns so medal is a noun it is a single word used as a noun means c expected something c expected a medal अब हम इस मेडल नाउन को नाउन फ्रेज में कन्वर्ट करते हैं सी एक्सपेक्टेड टू विन ए मेडल टू विन ए मेडल इज ए फ्रेज इट इज नॉट ए क्लॉज वाई बिकॉज इट हैज नो फाइनाइट वर्ब शी एक्सपेक्टेड समथिंग हियर दिस फ्रेज एक्ट एज ए नाउन नाउन दैट इज वाई इट इज नोन एज ए नाउन फ्रेज इन द थर्ड सेंटेंस let us extend this phrase let us change this phrase into a clause for example she expected that she would win a medal here subject verb means she expected something we can replace this noun this noun phrase and noun clause with the word something she expected something she expected a medal she expected to win a medal she expected that she would win a medal here again the subject and verb combination here this that she would win a medal is a subordinate clause and is acting as a noun in this sentence that is why this is known as a noun clause let us take two more examples to make the understanding of a noun phrase and noun clause for example i know ramesh extend this ramesh or replace this noun with a noun phrase i know your brother we have replaced ramesh a proper noun with a noun phrase your brother because there is no finite verb next is i know the boy who is your brother now i have replaced this phrase विद ए नाउन क्लोज ये क्लोज कैसे है वही बात सब्जेक्ट एंड वर्ब कॉम्बिनेशन इज देयर एंड इट इज ए सबोर्डिनेट क्लॉज आई नो द बॉय और आई नो अ बॉय इज द मेन क्लोज एंड दिस इज ए सेंटेंस हैविंग ए सबोर्डिनेट क्लॉज एंड ए प्रिंसिपल क्लॉज नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल ही फीयर्स द एनिमी वॉट इज द एनिमी द इज एन आर्टिकल यूज बिफोर ए नाउन he fears the enemy means he fears someone he fears a noun 
He fears the enemy. Now replace this noun with a phrase. He fears to go abroad. वो किसी से डरता है दूर जाने से विदेश जाने से डरता है डर लगता है उसे नाउ दिस फ्रेज हैज नो फाइनाइट वर्ब दैट इज वाई दिस इज अ फ्रेज एंड नेक्स्ट इज ही फीयर्स सब्जेक्ट वर्ब ही फीयर्स वॉट ही फीयर्स वॉट मीन्स ही फीयर्स समथिंग और सम वन ही फीयर्स दैट ही विल फेल वो किस चीज से डरता है ही फीयर्स वॉट दैट ही विल फेल अगेन सब्जेक्ट वर्ब कॉम्बिनेशन this is a subordinate clause which is acting as a noun clause in this way we can identify a noun a noun phrase and a noun clause in a sentence dear students phrases and clauses a conceptual topic hai aapko is topic ki understanding tab samjhi jayegi jab aap ek adjective se usko adjective phrase mein extend karna seekh jayenge और एक एजेक्टिव फ्रेज को एक एजेक्टिव क्लोज में एक्सटेंड करना सीख जाएंगे आज हम सीखेंगे हाउ टू एक्सटेंड एन एजेक्टिव इन टू एन एजेक्टिव फ्रेज एंड हाउ टू चेंज एन एजेक्टिव फ्रेज इन टू एन एजेक्टिव क्लोज और इस प्रकार से हम क्लोजेज का कॉन्सेप्ट अच्छे से समझ पाएंगे आइए हम देखते हैं कि किस प्रकार से एक एजेक्टिव वर्ड को हम एजेक्टिव फ्रेज में चेंज करते हैं मान लीजिए हमने एक एजेक्टिव लिया सक्सेसफुल ही इज ए सक्सेसफुल पर्सन ही इज ए सक्सेसफुल बिजनेसमैन सक्सेसफुल आई कैन चेंज इट इनटू एन एजेक्टिव फ्रेज बाय एडिंग हाईली बिफोर इट हाईली सक्सेसफुल इट इज ए सिंगल वर्ड एक्टिंग एज एन एजेक्टिव इट इज ए ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड एक्टिंग एज एन एजेक्टिव इन ए सेंटेंस and then it is also a group of words having a subject and finite verb of its own acting as an adjective in a sentence successful highly successful or by adding a subject and verb to it who is highly successful let us frame a sentence i met a successful man here the word successful is qualifying noun man so it is acting an adjective and used before a noun what type of man did i meet i met a successful man next is i met a highly successful man highly successful adjective phrase here again noun and this adjective phrase is qualifying this noun man here a group of words is acting as an adjective and then we have to add a subject and a verb to change this adjective phrase into an adjective clause i met a man this is a principal clause and who is highly successful is a subordinate clause we have just add a subject and a verb to this adjective phrase highly successful to change it into an adjective clause this adjective clause who is highly successful is qualifying this man who is a noun in this sentence is prakar se agar koi group of words ya agar koi group of words having a subject and finite verb of its own qualifies a noun it acts as an adjective next example industrious industrious means hard working change it into a phrase of industrious habits change it into a clause who is industrious or i can say who has industrious habits we have to add a subject and a verb to change an adjective phrase into an adjective clause let us take an example an industrious student is sure to succeed student is a noun and the word industrious is acting an adjective for this student noun kis prakar ka student it this word tells about this noun the student an industrious student is sure to succeed next is a student of industrious habits adjective phrase 
of industrious habits is sure to succeed. This is also here, this is in this sentence, the words written in red font are acting as an adjective phrase. Now, change it into an adjective clause just by adding a subject and a verb. For example, a student who has subject and verb. And this is the same adjective phrase. Who has industrious habits is sure to succeed. In this way, we can change adjectives into adjective phrases and adjective phrases can be changed into adjective clauses. For example, stone wall. What type of wall? Stone wall. This is a noun and stone is acting as an adjective here. Wall made of stone. A group of words having no verb, having no subject and verb of its own. If adjective phrase, now change it into an adjective clause by adding a subject and a verb. Which is, which is a wall, which is made of stones. Next is golden chain, a chain made of gold which is made of gold. Then a kind lady, a lady full of kindness. Kind ko yaha par adjective ko humne noun mein change kar diya. A lady full of kindness and then I met a lady, I know a lady who is full of kindness. In this way we can change adjectives, adjective phrases and then into adjective clauses. Now, how to extend an adverb into an adverb phrase and how to extend an adverb phrase into an adverb clause. Let us take an example bravely. As you know, most of the words ending in ly are adverbs. This is a single word acting as an adverb. In a brave manner, यहां हमने bravely को brave जो कि adjective है, इसमें change कर दिया है. Brave manner, ये एक adverb phrase बन गया है. Now, so bravely that और फिर कोई subject या verb जो appropriate होगा, इसमें add कर देंगे. Then it will become an adverbial clause. Let us take an example. The army fought bravely. The army fought bravely. In a, this is an adverb here. How did the army fight? The army fought bravely. It tells us the adverb of manner. The army fought in a brave manner. The same thing is there. There is no change in the meaning. The army fought in a brave manner. What have we done? We just have changed an adverb into an adverb phrase. The army fought so bravely that the enemy fled. Army itni bahaduri se shena ne yudh kiya ki dushman bhaag khada hua. Next is sit there. Here this word there is an adverb of place. This is a single word acting an as verb adverb in this sentence. Sit there. Here where is the subject? Here subject is yo which is hidden. Shit there. Or shit there ko ab hum adverb phrase mein change karne ke liye likh denge. Shit on the bench. Teacher bachse se kehta hai. Shit there. Where? Shit on the bench. Where is the bench? Where? Shit where you can find the bench. Or shit where you can find the seat. Aap wahan baith jaiye zahaan par aapko seat milti hai. For example, shit ये वाब है, you यहाँ पर subject है और यहाँ पर you again subject है, you can find फिर से वाब है, हमने एक subject वाब combination बनाते हुए इसको adverbial phrase में change कर दिया है. In this way, we can change adverbs into adverb phrases and adverb phrases into adverb clauses and we can use adverbs, adverb phrases and adverb clauses in different sentences. Now, let us have a small exercise. 
there are only five sentences in this exercise you have to encircle the main clause and underline the subordinate clause in these sentences you have understood that for a group of words to be a clause it must have a, at least a subject and a finite verb or a subject and a predicate and main clause has a complete meaning complete sense while the subordinate clause doesn't have a complete meaning now tell me tell me this is the main clause and circle the main clause why you did this this is the subordinate clause aap isko keval itna dekhenge why you did this next is if i like it this is the subordinate clause because the conjunction is there if i like it i shall buy it i shall buy it this clause it itself is a sentence because it has a complete sense and subject verb combination next is the person who won a prize is here subject is this the person is here this is verb is the person is here is the main clause it has a complete sense but who won a prize who won a prize is the subordinate clause we have to underline this and encircle this main clause next is he is excited this is the main clause he is excited because he is he has topped the class because he has again subject verb combination having not a complete sense it becomes a subordinate clause and the last sentence is i like the tea or i like tea this is the main clause which is produced in assam kaun si chai pasand karta hu kaun si chai achhi lagti hai jo assam mein paida hoti hai this is acting as as subordinate clause in this way we can understand the concept of words phrases clauses and types of clauses and types of subordinate clauses that is noun clause adjective clause and adverb clause let us sum up the topic of clauses today we are going to discuss the difference between phrase clause and a sentence through this chart hi here i have written phrase this column is for phrase clause and sentence here the first column is group of words finite verb meaning sentence and other features in case of phrase kya phrase mein group of words hote hain absolutely hote hain bilkul hote hain for example on the table ram and sham in the corner on the floor in the park ek group of words hota hai phrase isliye maine yahan tick ka nishan lagaya next is finite verb kya kisi phrase mein ek finite verb hoti hai no a phrase has no finite verb agar phrase mein subject aur finite verb ho gaya to wo phrase nahi rehta wo fir close ho jata hai it means a phrase has no finite verb next is meaning does a phrase stand on its own no it does not stand on its own means it has no complete sense it has a little sense it has no complete sense no complete meaning sentence can a phrase be a sentence never a phrase can ne never be a sentence yes it can be a part of a sentence but not a sentence because for a sentence we need a finite verb and a phrase has no finite verb next is other features can a phrase has a subject yes it may or may not have a subject it depends upon the words in the phrase is prakar se hum phrase ko define karenge aur yadi hum ये फ्रीक्वेंटली आस्ड क्वेश्चन के थ्रू फ्रेज को डिफाइन कर लेंगे तो हमें फ्रेज का कॉन्सेप्ट अच्छे से समझ आ जाएगा अब हम लेते हैं क्लॉज वॉट इज ए क्लॉज एक्चुअली 
a clause is a clause a group of words absolutely a group of words a phrase a clause as well as a sentence this is the similarity between phrase clause and the sentence a clause is also a group of words has a clause a finite verb beshak bilkul for example every clause has a finite verb and subject of its own means every clause has a subject and predicate of its own and this predicate part always contains a verb that is known as a clause this is the basic difference between a phrase and a clause next is meaning does every clause has a complete meaning no it depends upon the clause it may or may not have the complete sense ho bhi sakta hai nahi bhi aur jahan iska complete meaning hoga use hum main clause kahenge ek main clause ek complete sentence bana sakta hai but a subordinate clause can't make a complete sense or complete meaning or a complete sentence isliye hum keh sakte hain a clause may or may not have a complete sense or a complete meaning next is sentence can a clause play the role of a sentence or can a clause be a sentence it may or may not be a sentence if the clause is the main one principal or independent clause it is a sentence what type of sentence it is it is a simple sentence means it will have at least one subject and one finite verb but if the clause is subordinate one dependent one then it is not a sentence because it has not a complete sense and for its complete sense it has to depends it has to depend on the main clause in the sentence so alone a subordinate clause alone can't be a sentence so hum keh sakte hain a clause may or may not be a sentence it depends upon the words in the sentence next is other features what is the basic feature of a clause the basic feature of a clause is it has a either a subject or a finite verb at least one subject and one finite verb in some clauses the subject is hidden for example stand up this is a main clause this is a complete sentence but here the subject you is hidden next is sentence is a sentence also a group of words yes it is also a group of words phrase clause and sentence all the three have a group of words you are a group of words next is finite verb does a sentence have a finite verb without verb no sentence can be framed so every sentence has a finite verb of its own at least one finite verb it may have more than one finite verbs also but at least it it must have a finite verb next is meaning a sentence has a complete meaning it always has a complete meaning next is if a sentence if a group of words has not a complete meaning and even after having a subject or verb it is not a sentence we can't call it a sentence next is sentence yes a sentence will always have a complete sense so it is a sentence it may have one clause it may have two clauses it may have more than two clauses if there are more than two clauses then at least there will be one main main clause and others may be subordinate clauses there may be two main clauses also in a sentence next is what is the next feature of a sentence one main clause a sentence has at least one main clause plus more than one subordinate clauses it may have one main clause one subordinate clause it may have one main clause more than one two three subordinate clauses it may have two main clauses also it may have two main clauses joined with 
a conjunction. A single clause can be a sentence. More than clauses or group of clauses can also be a sentence. अब एक सवाल यहां यह उठता है क्या कोई भी फ्रेज क्लोज हो सकता है नेवर नहीं हो सकता क्या कोई भी क्लोज सेंटेंस हो सकता है हो सकता है कौन सा केवल मेन क्लोज सबोर्डिनेट क्लोज इंडिपेंडेंटली एक सेंटेंस नहीं हो सकता क्योंकि वो डिपेंडेंट क्लोज होता है एवरी सेंटेंस क्या क्लोज होगा यस ऑफ कोर्स Every clause may may or may not be a sentence, but every sentence is always a clause or more than one clauses. इस प्रकार से हम clause, phrase और sentence में difference कर सकते हैं उसके concept को समझ सकते हैं उसकी अवधारणा को समझ सकते हैं अगर किसी sentence में एक ही main clause हो उसे हम क्या कहते हैं Simple sentence. One main clause. प्लस वन सबोर्डिनेट और मोर देन वन सबोर्डिनेट क्लोजेज कॉम्प्लेक्स सेंटेंस इफ देर आर टू मेन क्लोजेज इन ए सेंटेंस ज्वाइन विद ए कंजंक्शन इट विल बी नोन एज कंपाउंड सेंटेंस हमने यहां सीखा क्लोजेज टाइप्स ऑफ क्लोजेज एंड टाइप्स ऑफ सबोर्डिनेट क्लोजेज नाउन क्लोज एडजेक्टिव क्लोज एंड एडवर्ब क्लोज नाउन क्लोज एजेक्टिव क्लोज एडवर्ब क्लोज हमेशा कॉम्प्लेक्स सेंटेंस बनाएंगे कभी भी कंपाउंड सेंटेंस नहीं बना सकते क्यों क्योंकि वो सबोर्डिनेट क्लोजेज हैं और सबोर्डिनेट क्लोज सेंटेंस ही नहीं बना सकता इसलिए नाउन क्लोज एजेक्टिव क्लोज और एडवर्ब क्लोज ऑलवेज विल बी द पार्ट ऑफ ए सेंटेंस डियर स्टूडेंट्स हमने क्लोजेज सीखे अब क्लोजेज के कॉन्सेप्ट को सही तरीके से एसेस करने के लिए आपकी असेसमेंट के लिए हम एक एक्सरसाइज मेरे साथ सोल्व करते हैं देखिए देर आर नाइन सेंटेंसेस इन दिस एक्सरसाइज एंड इंसर्ट द क्लॉज एज डायरेक्टेड मींस इन द फर्स्ट थ्री सेंटेंसेस यू हैव टू फिल इन ए नाउन क्लोज इन द नेक्स्ट थ्री सेंटेंसेस फोर्थ एंड फोर्थ फिफ्थ एंड सिक्स सेंटेंस यू हैव टू फिल इन एन एजेक्टिव क्लोज and in the last three sentences 7 8 and 9th sentence you have to fill in an adverb clause aapko noun clause adjective clause or adverb clause ki understanding uske concept ki samajh hai to aap in mein apni taraf se koi bhi noun clause jo required hai wo fill in kar payenge clause ke liye aapko dhyan rakhna hai uska apna subject apni verb honi chahiye अगर हमें नाउन क्लोज भरना है तो नाउन क्लोज नाउन के तरह से एक्ट करना चाहिए इन केस ऑफ एजेक्टिव क्लोज वो एजेक्टिव क्लोज किसी नाउन या प्रोनाउन को क्वालिफाई करता हुआ होना चाहिए मीन्स एजेक्टिव का रोल प्ले करना चाहिए इन केस ऑफ एडवर्ब क्लॉज एडवर्ब क्लोज एडवर्ब की तरह रोल प्ले करना चाहिए फर्स्ट थ्री सेंटेंसेज वी हैव टू फेल इन नाउन क्लोजेज First of all, you can eat. You can eat. We have to fill in a noun, a noun clause. You can eat something. You can eat biscuits. You can eat sweets. These are nouns. But we have to fill in a noun clause. Means you can fill in whatever you want. Whatever you want. You can. Fill in whatever you want means you can eat something. ये whatever you want जो है it is acting as a noun clause. You want subject verb combination. It gives the answer of what what do you want? What you want to eat? Next is I don't know. What I don't know? I don't know what I don't know something means I don't know. what she likes i don't know what she likes again this is a subject and verb combination subject verb combination i don't know what she wants again in noun clause there next is he told me what did he tell me he told me that kuch bhi hum noun clause ke roop mein yahan likh denge 
he told me that now insert a proper noun clause suitable to this sentence he told me that he would come he told me that he would come in this way we can fill in the required clauses to the given sentences next is fourth fifth and sixth sentence we have to fill in adjective clauses fourth sentence is the girl is my niche this is the main clause we have to insert a subordinate clause means an adjective clause here yahan par ek aisa clause hame fill in karna hai jo is noun girl ko qualify kare to hum iske liye who se qualify karwa denge ise the girl who won the first prize or won the trophy the girl who won the trophy is my niche who is that girl the girl who won the trophy is my niche yahan par who won the trophy again subject verb combination qualifying this noun so it is acting as an adjective clause next is all is not gold all that glitters it is a well known saying also that glitters all that glitters is not gold and the next is my sister is a doctor means i have two or three sisters one of them is a doctor which one of them i have to qualify this noun my sister my sister now who lives in who lives in canada who lives in canada is a doctor who lives in india is not a doctor which which sister of mine is a doctor my sister who lives in canada is a doctor yahan par ye jo who lives again subject verb combination qualifies this noun that's why this is an adjective clause now in the last sentences we have to fill in adverb clauses it might be adverb of time adverb clause of place adverb clause of manner whatever for example i waited for my friend i waited yahan par wait karne ki baat aati hai i waited for my friend adverb clause of time yahan hum bhar denge until until he returned i waited for my friend until he returned or till he returned bhi hum yahan par likh sakte hain next is she was so tired how much tired she was so tired that she could barely stand she could barely stand ki wo mushkil se khadi ho pati thi khadi bhi nahi ho pati thi itni thaki hui thi ki khadi bhi nahi ho saki she was so tired that she could barely stand or that she could not walk she could not stand now if you don't tell me everything maan lijiye koi kisi ki koi problem hai wo hame kuch thodi bahut baat batata hai lekin puri nahi batata can we help him no then he says if you don't tell me everything i will not be able to help you i will not be able to help you in this way we can fill in required clauses in the given sentences